Hi! So in this video I'm going to show you how to create a kind of broken statue from any model. So yeah, there you go. Enjoy! Right, let's start with a quick version for this. Um, I'm just going to use a sphere and on a plane, something very simple. Um, so first, make a plane. And first thing we're going to do with that is, that is scale it up and then apply the scale. Go into the physics tab, add a rigid body and set that to passive. That just means it won't move. It's a solid object, it won't move. Um, follow that with adding an object that we're going to break apart. I'm just going to use a sphere just, just to keep it easy. Mm, go into Edit Preferences and then you'll want the Cell Fracture add-on if you haven't already. And with that I'm going to move this sphere into a new collection, select the sphere and then under the Object tab, it's under Quick Effects, is the Cell Fracture. Now just to make it quick, I'm going to make it very few pieces for this. You can have as many or as high as you like. That's the only setting I'm changing. And that just quickly breaks it up into a handful of pieces. So select those. And with one selected, we go to rigid body, leave everything as default, and then Back to object, down to the rigid body, drop down, and copy from active. And that is pretty much it. That will, you can use this method to break apart any object. So there you go. Now I go to um, scan the world project, find some, some models to break, um, they're all STL files, so that's what I've done. Um, as you'll see now, this is going to be sped up, but um, so I bring in a high poly STL, I'm going to decimate it quite substantially. It's, um, a decimate modified 0.1 I probably did or something, if not even lower than that. And then just apply that. And once you've done that, everything's the same. back when I've got something new to say, otherwise it's... enjoy. As you can see, I do a few run-throughs, just making sure things break as and when I want them to. But overall, I'm quite happy with how this came out on my first try. One thing to note is when you are making these, sometimes the model will just explode, and I'm not 100% certain why. It usually seems to be something to do with overlapping models. Uh, overlapping meshes as it were, but sometimes there doesn't seem to be any sign of an overlapping mesh and it still does it. Um, best thing to do is just start to start again. Once you're happy with your breakage, um, 
select all the pieces. If you if you're wanting to print it, this is select all the pieces and uh, join them together. With, uh, Control and J to join them. Obviously, I had a little bit of trouble, but um, not too much. It's all joined. Um, I'm going to remove the uh, physics because they're not needed anymore. I will scale them down and just make a base for them. This gives us a nice little piece of scattered terrain. together and then just remesh it make it a nice manifold mesh and that's it you can do use this technique with any model just to create that kind of broken statue look as I say the, um, the scan the world project has loads of real world statues to use but they're very high poly you'll probably want to uh, sort of decimate them a little bit. So there you go. Enjoy. <laughs> 